Hello, great minds. It's only on the Voice Power Media. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now, let's shoot. Northern Groups purchased 100 million Naira APC presidential fund for Jonathan. Today is facing, we believe that only a leader with that kind of, you know, that kind of patriotism, a leader with that kind of fairness, a leader who is ready to give every Nigerian sense of belonging can be able to rule this country. And that leader is Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. See that we are almost late, you know, coming to buy this form. We have been trying with the Almajiris and the Fulanis selling our cows to gather this money. We were able to raise this fund just yesterday. And then Jonathan's media advisor, Ikech Kwede, said that Jonathan did not authorize the purchase and considered the move by the group an insult. I wonder why some people will leave their work and leave their home and decide to be insulting our former president up and down, up and down, just like that. Eh? No respect at all. Okay, even to add more salt to injury. The Fulani group secretary stated that if the ex-president throws down the nomination form as he threatened, they will be left with no option. But to force him to accept it, oh my god, please can I get a glass of water or coffee or something? I don't get this. Force him as in, uh, as in, I bet you, these people are up to something. You see this country, <laughs> there is nothing that cannot happen in this country. You remember, you remember when animals used to swallow money, they used to swallow millions in this country. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. I hope it's not what I'm thinking or what I've been hearing. Eh? Because there has been a speculation that the Northerners want Jonathan to be the president of Nigeria in 2023. So as to complete his remaining terms of four years and then hand power over back to the north. Oh my god. Jonathan should be smarter than that. But I don't know why. I have the feeling that they are all together in this. Remember, Jonathan has, has literally abandoned PDP since 2015. He has avoided all their national conventions. But anyway, time will tell. But since Jonathan is claiming he don't need the form. Let me have it. Yeah. If I become the president of Nigeria, when bandits hear my name, they will take to flight because I will personally take the word to them in Governor Wiki's voice. I will create job in every nooks and crannies of this country, under the tree, in the bush, inside the kitchen, in the toilet, in the room. As you are marching, you'll be marching on job everywhere. In fact, I will make Nigeria the world power. And jealousy will begin to finish countries like UK, America, Dubai, China, and the like. In fact, I've started my campaign though. Hey, remember that reminds me. Talking of campaign. How many opponents do I have? I mean, how many presidential aspirants? APC has 26 aspirants. What? PDP alone has 70. What the heck? Oh my goodness. This is alarming. This is close to madness. 43 persons from only two political parties. Not to talk of other parties, so I need it. I need, I need some fresh air. The number is suffocating me. Oh my god, I really need to take a walk now. Plus me, 44. I'm not stepping down for anybody. I'm not backing out to. I am not going to accept to be the vice president. I must be the president. Full stop. Period. That was settled. There is a scene that only lies the head that wears the crown. So, why are these people struggling towards anxiety, stress, worries? Or maybe that scene loses its power when it comes to Nigeria leaders? Because I don't understand why some people who pay millions of naira just to be stressed out. I don't understand. There are more to this than just need the eyes. Okay, that one aside. The one that is making me angry is that INEC has condemned calls from some unidentified voters on the commission's booth, Mahmoud Yakubu, to join the 2023 presidential race. You see, you see, open if you now. When I get angry now, they will start telling me I have I have to control my temper. Eh? No, 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 just allow me to talk. What is wrong with all these people? Can somebody explain to me what has come over these people? We are still protesting that the number is too much already. And they are still begging and calling other people to come and join. If 
five-year come and join race again. Some people will be bound in chains and compared to a mental institution until the election is over. Haba! Kai! Enough! Okay, this one aside. This one aside. Just look at this image. This image created by a Nigerian medical student and illustrator Chidebere Ibe. This may struck a chord with countless people on social media, and many of whom say that they had never seen a black fetus or a black pregnant woman depicted before in medical illustration. It also brought attention to a larger issue at hand, a lack of diversity in medical illustration. I remember back then in primary and secondary school, or even in tertiary institution, a white male or female is normally used for medical illustrations in our biology textbooks. Yes, but whenever they want to make an illustration of the devil, they draw a picture of an ugly black man with two horns. <laughs> Hi, racism everywhere. No problem. As if to say the devil is a black man. No problem. We have been seeing and enduring racist discrimination in the past. Blacks in white man's land has a lot to say when it comes to racist discrimination, but the most of it all is black discriminating against black. Xenophobic discrimination in some African countries. You can see that there. You see rich black guys. You see these black guys getting married to white ladies because they see black ladies as inferior. That is also discrimination. That's also a form of discrimination. Yes, the same reason their discrimination pushed a late musician to undergo series of surgery just to be like white people. Don't mind it. They are the same reason for all these things you see in these pictures. Just take a look at these pictures. Discrimination. Be proud of who you are. Black is beautiful. Okay, meanwhile, some fitness and health experts have expressed worry that many Nigerians continue to endanger their lives due to sedentary lifestyles. They noted that the high incidence of terminal illnesses and life-threatening diseases among Nigerians is all connected with people accumulating calories without burning them. And you know what? I really care about you. I mean, you looking at me right now. If you are the type that rotates from house to the car or bike from the car to the office or to your place of work or from bike to the car or just rotate, you rotate, you may be doing something wrong. Make out time for a workout in a gym or simply take a walk to somewhere instead of using your bike or your car. It will be of great benefit to your health. You see now, I'm giving you some health tips. Yeah, but wait a minute. Have you liked and subscribed? You haven't. Ah. Oh, okay, please. Please. Just click the thumb up button and subscribe now. Thank you so much. You're such a darling. Thanks for that. You know what? Have a great day. And I can't wait to see you again. Bye.